With cumulative frequency, we add the frequencies as we go. We keep a running total of the frequency. In this example, we've got the heights of some plants, and we've got a normal frequency table here. So between 30 and 40 centimetres, there are nine plants. There are nine plants with a height between 30 and 40 centimetres. There are 16 plants with a height between 40 and 50 centimetres. 12 plants between 50 and 60 centimetres. And three plants between 60 and 70 centimetres. In a cumulative frequency table, the first group will be the same, 30 to 40 centimetres. So the frequency is 9. Then the second group, you'll notice a difference here. This is 30 to 50 centimetres now. So this is the first two added together. The 30 to 40 group and the 40 to 50 group added together. So 9 plus 16 is 25. So there are 25 plants for height between 30 and 50 centimetres. Now we add on the next group. So add on the 12. 25 and 12 make 37. So there are 37 plants with a height between 30 and 60 centimetres. And then finally add on the 3. So there are 40 plants in total. So there are a total, there's a total of 40 plants. So 40 plants between 30 and 70 centimetres. That's all of the plants. Now we're going to plot this on a graph. And we are going to plot the top point against the frequency. So there are nine plants with a height of less than 40 centimetres. By the time we get to 40 centimetres, there have been nine plants. So we're going to plot 9 against 40. Then we're going to plot the frequency of 25 against 50. And 37 against 60. 60, 37. And 40 against 70. 70, 40. And we're going to join these up with a smooth curve. So I'm going to try and do this for smooth curve. So it looks something like that. And that is a cumulative frequency graph. We could be asked all sorts of different questions now. So we could be asked for the median. And if we're asked for the median, the median is the middle number. There were 40 plants, so the median, we're going to go halfway, so at 20. And then we go along to the line and down, and we read off the median. So our median is around, on my graph, it's coming out as 48. So that's the median. We could also find the quartiles. So the upper quartile is three quarters of the way through the data. So three quarters of 40 is 30. So the upper quartile is around 53. And the lower quartile, that would be going from 10 along and down. So that is around 41. So if we were asked for the upper quartile, it'd be 53, around 53. The lower quartile is around 41, and the median is at 48. If we were asked for the interquartile range, that's the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. And that would be 53 take away 41, which is 12. That's the interquartile range. I'll put IQR, interquartile range. The upper quartile take away the lower quartile. Here we have another example. This time we're looking at the time some people took to get to an event. So again, we've got a normal frequency table. 
and we're going to complete a cumulative frequency table. So between 0 and 10 minutes, so 14 people took between 0 and 10 minutes. So that's going to be the same on both tables. Then for the cumulative frequency table, the next row will be the first two groups added together. So the 0 to 10 group and the 10 to 20 group. So 14 people plus 32 people makes 46 people. And then we're going to add on the 28 from the next group, from the 20 to 30 minutes group. So 46 plus 28 is 74. And then finally add on the last group. So add on 6, 74 plus 6 is 80. And that is all of the people. There were 80 people in total. 80 people took between 0 and 40 minutes to get to the event. Let's plot this on the graph. So for cumulative frequency, we're going to plot the top point of the range. So that's 10 minutes against 14 people. So 10 minutes against 14 people. It's going up in twos along the side this time on our frequency. We've got 20 minutes, 46 people. So 46 people took 20 minutes or less to get to the event. 30 minutes, 74 people. So 74 people took 30 minutes or less to get to the event. And 40 minutes was 80 people. So again, let's join it up with a smooth curve. Something like that. And again, if we were asked for the median, so this time we've got 80 people. So the median would be halfway. So they go to 40, 40 people along to the line and down and you read off 19 minutes there so we can say the median time was 19 minutes or the upper quartile so three quarters of 80 is 60 so if we wanted the upper quartile we go along to the line from 60 and down and read off something around 24 and for the lower quartile that would be at 20. A quarter of 80 is 20. And let's go with the lower one there. So for the lower quartile, we go from 20 along to the line and down. And that would be our lower quartile. Okay, another example, another question. The time it took some people to get to an event again was recorded. So this time we've got more groups and we're going straight from the frequency table to the graph. So there's no completing a cumulative frequency table. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna have to have a run in total, a cumulative frequency column. So zero to 10, is six people and then zero to 20 is going to be six plus 11 which is 17 then zero to 30 we're going to add on the 16 so 17 plus 16 33 then for zero to 40 add on the 13 so we just keep adding on the next one as we go and then add add on 9 55 and then add on 5 60 so there are 60 people and we're gonna plot this on so 10 minutes six people so always using the top point for cumulative frequency 10 minutes six people 20 minutes 17 people 30 minutes 33 
4046, 5055, and 6060. And again, a smooth curve to join up the points. So something like that. And the question says, use your graph to estimate the number of people that took longer than 25 minutes to get to the event. So we need to go to 25 minutes on the graph. So 25 minutes on the graph, up to our line, and then across. So what is that? How many people? We read off the number of people. So let's say that is 24. Let's say that's 24 people. So how many people took longer than 25 minutes? So 24 people took less than 25 minutes. So how many people took more than 25 minutes? So we do, how many people in total? 60. Take away the 24, and that's 36 people. Twenty-four people took less than 25 minutes, which means the rest of them must have taken more than 25 minutes. And another question. This time we've got the weights of some objects. Again, there's no table to fill out. So we'll have to add a running total column. So between 100 and 120 grams, there are 14 objects. And then between 100 and 140, we're going to add on the next one. So 14 plus 26 is 40. Then add on the next one. 40 plus 25 is 65. Add on the next one. 65 plus 22 is 87 and then add on the next one 87 and 13 make 100 so there were 100 objects and we're going to plot the graph always using the top point so 120 against 14 140 40 so there are 40 objects with a weight of less than 140 grams. 160, 65. So 65 objects with a weight of less than 160 grams. 180, 87. 87 is in there. And 100, 200 against 100. So let's join them up with a smooth curve. So we've got something like that. And the question says, use your graph to find an estimate for the interquartile range. So we need to find the upper quartile which is three quarters of the data, the lower quartile, which is one quarter of the data, and take away our two answers. So a quarter of, there were 100 objects, so a quarter is 25. So 100 divided by four is 25. So 25 is in here. So something around there and 75 is halfway in here halfway between 70 and 80 so what do we have for our interquartile range our upper quartile is around 170 
Well, 171. We'll call it 171. And for our lower quartile, we'll call that 131. So the interquartile range is the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile. So 171 take away 131 is 40. So our interquartile range is 40. I'll put grams, 40 grams. And the last question, we've got the heights of some students. Again, we're doing the same thing. So we're going to have a cumulative frequency column, a running total column. So 100 to 120 centimetres, we've got two students. Less than 140 is 2 plus 23, which makes 25. Less than 160 is add on the next column. 25 plus 40 is 65. Then add on the 24. 65 and 24 make 89. And then 89 plus 11 is 100. So we're plotting top point against cumulative frequency. So 120 against 2. 140, 25. 160, 65. 180, 89 and 200, 100. So let's join this up. So that is our cumulative frequency graph. And the question says, use your graph to find an estimate for the median height. So there are 100 people 100 students the median is halfway so half of 100 is 50 so we're going to go from 50 to the line and then from the line down to the height and read off and it looks like 150 centimeters so our estimate using our graph is 150 centimeters